Welcome to the top-rated and award-nominated grad school fem touring podcast, the place for first-gen BIPOCs to learn about all things grad school, personal development, and sustainable productivity. This is Dr. Yvette Martinez Vu, and I will be serving as your fem tour, providing you with tips and tricks and everything else you need to know to successfully navigate grad school and beyond. For over 13 years, I've been empowering first-gen students of color along their academic and professional journeys, and I'm really excited to support you, too. Dr. Yvette here. Before starting today's episode, I want to announce that my co-authored book, Is Grad School for Me? Demystifying the Application Process for First-Gen BIPOC Students, is available for pre-order. It officially comes out on April 16th, and between now and the rest of the year, my co-author and I are available to speak at your next event. We are excited because this is the first book that provides first-generation, low-income, and non-traditional students of color with insider knowledge on how to consider and navigate grad school. It's the book that we both wish we had when we were undertaking our own grad admissions process at UCLA many years ago. The book is both a corrective and a calling card to the lack of clear guidance for historically excluded students navigating the onerous and often overwhelming process of applying to grad school. We walk you through the process from first asking yourself whether grad school is even the right next step for you, to then providing you with step-by-step instructions on how to maneuver every aspect of the grad admissions process, including providing you with sample essays, templates, and relatable scenarios. If you're interested, we encourage you to pre-order your copy today or have your local library order a copy. You can also reach out to us for bulk order discount codes. Lastly, we are available for book talks, workshops, keynotes, panels, and even book club visitations go to www.gradschoolfemtrain.com slash book to learn more. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Grad School Fem Touring Podcast. This is your host, Dr. Yvette. Today is a quick episode. I have a lot going on, and I wanted to make sure to hop on here to send you all an invitation to the Is Grad School For Me book launch party. Yes, we, my co-author and I, decided to organize a bit of an impromptu book launch event. This will be a virtual event. It's happening on the day that our book gets published. Once again, I hope that I sound like a broken record because I hope that everybody and their mama knows about my book. But the book is Grad School for Me, Demystifying the Application Process for First-Gen BIPOC Students is officially coming out so soon, April 16th. And on the day of, we decided we want to get together with our community to celebrate this momentous occasion. This book has needed to exist for such a long time, and I'm so glad that it's going to be in all of your hands very, very soon. So if you're interested in the book launch event, it's happening on Tuesday, April 16th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. We're aiming to keep it at about an hour in terms of the length of time. And what are we going to be talking about in case you're curious? We are going to be sharing more about ourselves, our backstories. We're going to be giving you a bit of an inside look at the book before it's in your hands. We're also going to be reading a few excerpts from the book, especially the excerpts that to us stood out and that we want to make sure that that reflect some of the key takeaways of the book. We have also invited folks who contributed to the book in some way, shape, or form. There were many people who we quoted in the book because we wanted to include their stories. And there were also just as many people who contributed a sample grad school application essay. We invited them, and some of them were willing to volunteer to share their words and their words related to their own grad school journey, perhaps related to in what way they contributed to the book. And also, they are welcome to talk about 
what they believe a book like this will do, what kind of impact they believe it will have. So if you are someone who is considering going to graduate school, if you're currently applying, if you are in grad school, and even if you've been done with grad school for a while and you're a seasoned working professional, this event is for you. This event is for anybody who has supported us in our work. That includes our colleagues, our friends, our loved ones, our femtors, our femtees. Everybody and their mama is invited. Of course, there is limited space because it is happening virtually and I am using my Zoom account, which limits me at 100 people. We don't anticipate that that many people will show up because that's one thing to register for an event and second thing to actually show up. But just in case, please reserve your seat. Make sure that you register at the link in the show notes. And that way you get the Zoom link and you can meet us. You can talk to us. You can ask your questions. That's the other thing I didn't mention is that at the end of the event, we are going to have time for Q&A. And who knows? I'm thinking I might do a book giveaway or two. I'm still working on the slides. I'm thinking, why not? Why, why don't we do a book giveaway? And, you know, if, if I'm the one doing it, I'm happy to give out a signed book to folks. So again, come show up, show your support, order the book if you haven't already. And that's it. I'm excited to see you all there. I've already started a bit of a podcasting tour, and it's been a lot of fun to reflect on our own education, college, grad school journeys, and all the things that led up to my co-author and I, Miros and I, meeting each other, getting together, writing this book, and now very soon offering it to the world. And when you put a book out there into the world, just like you put any other project out there into the world, there is no certainty about how it will be received, and there's no way to know to what extent it's going to impact others. But please know it comes from a place of love and tenderness and support for our communities, for everybody who is first-gen, BIPOC, low-income, non-traditional, and or who has felt underrepresented, excluded, or different in your higher ed journey. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope to see you there. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me in the Grad School Fem Touring Podcast. If you like what you heard, here are four ways you can support the show. The first is to make sure you're subscribed and leave a review on Apple Podcasts. The second way is to get your copy of my free Grad School Fem Touring Resource Kit which includes essential information to prepare for and navigate grad school. You can access it at the link in today's show notes. The third way to support my show is to follow me on social media. You can find me on Instagram with the handle at gradschoolfemtouring and on LinkedIn by searching my name. The last way to show your love is to sign up to work with me via my Grad School Femtouring Academy, my group coaching program for first-gen BIPOCs seeking to work on their personal growth and gain sustainable productivity skills. You can learn more at gradschoolfemtouring.com slash academy. Thanks again for listening and until next time. Thank you.